My world, your world, our world. There are at least 570 million children living in severe monetary poverty worldwide. Did you get that? In the Philippines, the effects of child poverty are devastating, unjust, and too often fatal. And statistics reveal the child poverty is still on the rise. Right. Child poverty is not just about the money. In the Philippines, 30% of children under the age of 5 experience severe malnutrition and chronic hunger. And one out of four children and youth are currently out of school. In the Philippines, it is estimated that 1.8 million children are abandoned or neglected. In the last five years, cases of abuse and violence against children have almost doubled, leaving many children exploited, vulnerable, and alone. Child poverty equals hopelessness. Safe Haven was a dream that began in the hearts and minds of its founders, David and Cherise Nailgrove in 2011, all the way back in Australia. In 2013, after years of mission work in the Philippines, the snail groups packed their bags and relocated to Manila to establish Safe Haven Community Center and Children's Home. At Safe Haven, we believe that every child deserves to be seen, heard, and loved. So our mission at Safe Haven is simple really. We focus on children, their rights, education, physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being, and their desire to be loved and to belong. At Safe Haven, we are a family! I am a 10 years old. Muna dumating ako dito, pinakain na ako ni Ma'am Pioli. Nakita ko siya sa my church feeding program. Pinakain niya ako ng rice and chicken. Sa payatas po, maraming basura katulad ng mga plastic, mga balat ng prutas, mga bote ng tubig, tsaka soft drinks, pinababayaan lang po ang mga basura. Hindi po ako nag-aaral, wala po ako ginagawa. Minsan pupunta ako sa mga bahay ng kaibigan ko para tumambay. Ang nagdala po dito ay yung nakagis na niyang mama kasi po yung ampun lang po siya, binigila po niya yung mama niya. Limang taong po siya nang dinala dito, kaya apat na taong po siya dito sa amin. Hindi po kami kumakain ng tatlong beses sa isang araw. Sa payatas po, hindi po kami nagmemeryenda. Madalas po kami kumain ng dinner mga 11 o 12 ng gabi. Swimming po, at saka rin po pag sa soccer, pag minsan ako pag pumupunta po ako sa park, at saka po nag-slide, at saka po nag-slide. 
sabado sa po. Ito ko po, naging scientist. Kasi po, para po malaman ko po ano po mga nangyayari daw po sa my earth po. Tsaka din po, titignan po yung sa mga part of body po namin. O kaya po sa lahat po ng buwan ng katawan po namin.